guys, it's Mino, welcome back. I am very excited today. We have an incredibly beautiful palette to work with and I'm dying to show you this. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. We have taped the back with painter's tape, which you can get at any hardware store or drugstore, and the giant push pins, which I will link for you in the description box. Let's move this out of the way for a second and I'm gonna show you my colors. So we just did the Cancer Constellation pour, which was really, really beautiful with all of those malachite greens and the, the just really really pretty colors and then before that one we had done the one the 24 by 36 called malachite and we used the folk art malachite in that and it was beautiful so in that pour malachite there was one of the colors i used was this pearl cactus green and it's one of the arteza pearl series the premium acrylic colors pearl cactus green and I used a lot of colors in that one and I don't think I used very many layers of this so it didn't really show up. So I want to use this one today, make this one the star of the show. This is a beautiful color. It's kind of a sagey sort of green. It's not really, I guess when people think of cactus you think of a darker like a forest green or something. But this is more the color of like an agave. <laughs> it's got beautiful silvery color in it, very pearly, very sparkly. So we're going to play with this one today. This is the Pearl Cactus Green from Arteza. Um, this is actually drips from that constellation pour, the Cancer one, and it's this beautiful dark green color, so very much like, actually darker than the actual color of malachite, so that's drips. Uh, let's see, okay, we have our Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold, beautiful stuff, not as thick as I would like, but that's okay, still leaving a little mound on a mound. All right, and I also have, this one is... Artist Loft Silver, beautiful, nice and thick. So then I have Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. Okay, so in the Malachite one, the 24 by 36, I used a metallic black and it looked so cool when I was layering the cup, but in the dried piece, and I also had the Artist Loft Black as the base coat, the Artist Loft one, the flow acrylic one, dried nice and glossy, but the metallic black, for some reason, it was sort of duller and not nearly as glossy, so, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep using that one. I think I'd rather go with the just the flow acrylic black that dries beautifully and glossy. Okay, so now we have a couple of weird ones. This one is Art Alchemy's Stormy Ocean, but I had a devil of a time mixing these up today because I didn't want to mix it with another kind of paint. I just wanted to use it by itself, and so I mixed it with my Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, which is now just Liquitex Gloss Medium. We've covered this in a couple of videos. <laughs> and it still was kind of thin, so I found this stuff I have called Liquitex Liquid Thick Thickening Gel, and I used just maybe like of my pinky size and it, it again seized up and like made it lumpy and I spent forever mixing it so I kind of wanted to strain it but I didn't I just kept mixing it and mixing it I think these are air bubbles in here now not lumps I'm hoping so this one is stormy ocean from art alchemy again I think the best use of these is to mix them in with another paint rather than attempt to make a full cup of just this because it was not fun and I was like all excited and jazzed to pour this morning I was like yay and then I did this one first and I was like ah that was a nightmare and I did it again for some reason with this one this one is dragonfly same thing mixed up with Liquitex gloss medium and varnish and then it was still thin so I put some of that liquid thick in which I did them both at the same time so this is dragonfly and this is stormy ocean but we'll see I'm not loving this right now I'm not very very happy with it so I don't know and when I'm not happy with something I tend not to use it very much <laughs> okay so let's layer a cup for a 24 by 24 size inch canvas we need about 20.5 ounces of paint so that's to the top of the cup I'm probably going to use less than that I'm probably going to go to about like 16 or 17 ounces and use the flow extender around the outside of the pour so, let's see. Let's put some black in the bottom. Okay. All right, now we're going to come in with our cactus. Our beautiful. Oh, actually, you know, I want to put a tiny bit of gold in first. Just a little bit. 
Okay. Now our cactus. It's a beautiful color, it really is. Okay, now I'm going to use some of that darker malachite sort of color that was my drips. That's really, really pretty. And let's use a little bit of silver first. And we're going to come in with this dragonfly color now. Okay. Let's put some, okay, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to put some stormy ocean in there. And I'm going to come back to the cactus again. Some black. See, at this point, I feel like I have too many colors in here. <laughs> I may be crazy, but... Um, let's put a little bit of gold in there. And I'm going to come to this malachite color again. More of the cactus. So that's probably 16 ounces right there with a little puddle on the floor. I'll put some more stormy ocean in. And then I'm going to go back to the black. Okay. All right. So, I'm chicken. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Should we? So, okay, we have our cup ready then. That's awesome. So I was watching um, Karen Dershon of Waterfall Acrylics, and she was doing her blooms and spinning them. And I was sitting next to HOA this morning and we were have coffee. And I said, do you have a cake spinner? Or a turntable thingy? And he goes, yeah, of course I do. So then I was showing him <laughs> the video with the spinning and he goes, give me a little bit and I'll see what I can come up with. So I'm gonna show you what he came up with. So this contraption, this plastic bin is actually a washing machine drip pan. I guess this is what you put your washing machine in so it doesn't drip. And HOA has taped his cake spinner thing on there, on the bottom. So this actually does spin. <laughs> it's an industrial monitor turntable. It's an industrial monitor turntable. Okay, so we're going to give this a go. I've never done this before. We'll see how this goes. So we're going to put our canvas right in there. Probably going to make a gigantic mess. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. So we're going to start with a puddle of gold in the center. I'm going to kind of put a bigger puddle. Okay. Whew. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this one. <laughs> wipe this off so I don't drip in the painting. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Okay. Let's do a ring for and see what happens. Didn't work at all. Let me fix that real quick. Okay. 
All right, so now we're gonna put our flow extender, we're gonna put the black around here. I'm gonna thin it out first. Let's turn this so it doesn't travel. Wow, that's pretty neat, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put our black, some water in there to thin this. This is just the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. So we're gonna pour this around the pour. Okay, so from what I understand, the spinning is going to spread out our paint using centrifugal force. So we are not gonna need to tilt this, supposedly. So this is very new for me. I've never done this before. <laughs> But I've watched a few people do them, and they're, it's really, I mean, they usually use it for the bloom technique. But why not try it on a ring pull? <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, I'm going to move it down just a little bit so that it's more in the center. Because otherwise it's going to spread out in a weird way. Okay. So that looks like this, most of the paint is right there. All right. <laughs> Enough stalling. Let's do it. Probably gonna make a huge mess. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna spin it super fast, so. Is it working? So interesting. So it is definitely working. Definitely spreading. That's kind of make, that made me dizzy. <laughs> I like it. It's still spreading. I can see it. It's actually moving this way which is pretty cool. Let's spin it again though. That's very cool. Let's go the other way. it mostly <laughs> let's torch it There's things that I like, but there's things that I'm not crazy about either. I kind of love this with that, the black and the stormy and the cactus color. This is really pretty. This is really pretty. I'm not sure about any of this, although I do like those lines. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I really want to tilt it. <laughs> I can't. I just. I don't know. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna put a tiny bit more black on this like empty spot right here and just kind of spread this out a little bit more all right let's spin it one more time okay so you said if I push it that way then which end is going to go up? then it'll t it makes that heavier over there okay so we're just going to move this over Towards that corner, that way. Towards the corner. That way. Yeah, and this way. But centered, or no, just totally in the like corner. That, totally like that. Okay. That's going to be off balance, so be careful. Okay. So here we go. We're going to spin it again.
it's working. Now it's coming off this side. It's pretty cool, though. You know, you guys are going to kill me, but I think I want to pour it again. I'm sorry. Okay. So I have some more black. This one actually has some of that metallic black in it, so it's still a little sparkly. But there is plain artist loft flow acrylic in there also. So we're going to put some black in the bottom. And then some of that cactus. Now a little bit of gold. Last time I did the gold, then the cactus. And there was a lot of gold in the center, which I wasn't crazy about. So now we're going to put some more of that malachite. Silver. I'm going to come in with that stormy color. I'm going to go back to the cactus again. Another layer of black. Some more of that stormy. I really like that with the silver. I think I'm going to leave out the dragonfly this time, because I'm not crazy about that. I kept wanting to get rid of that, so if I keep wanting to tilt it off, I'm not going to put it in the cup that I'm pouring again, you know. Put a little bit of gold on top. Some more of that stormy ocean. A little bit of this malachite color left. We're going to use that up. Okay, so I'm actually going to thin the gold out just a tiny bit. Oop, that was not a tiny bit, but it'll get really thin like that. So if you pour too much water, just before you stir, pour some of the water out and then stir it up. It'll be fine. Okay, I'm actually going to spin this really, really fast just to get some of this extra paint off of here. Yeah. I do love this part. That's what we're hopefully going to get more of. Okay, so I'm going to pour a little bit of gold in the center again. The thinned out gold. So anything that's thinner is going to spread faster, too. So, all right. Are you ready, darling? Okay, so now let's spin this. Give it a go, see what happens. This is cool. I'm going to torch it first because I see air bubbles. So several of you have asked me what the torch is for. torch pops any air bubbles that are in your paint they would pop on their own but if you leave them in there and you don't torch it then sometimes you get these little indentations where it dries where the paint pop the bubble popped while it was dry okay here we go ready Cool. 
You see, I see it going over there. We're going to spin it a little bit more. This is really neat, though. Should I spin it or just tilt it? <laughs> spin it. Uh-oh, we're getting paint flying. <laughs> Okay, smart one. If I want this to come off, which way do I move it? Push it this way in this corner? We'll move it that way. Just this way? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's very cool. I'm, I'm not crazy about that though. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. We're just gonna spin it a little bit more to get any extra paint off of that side. Ready? <laughs> it's flying now. A little bit more. Are you getting dirty? Okay. I think we're going to leave that like that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so I see the, the cactus color in there. That's really cool. And I see that stormy ocean color in the center. I do like the, the center of the pour. That's pretty. I like that it's kind of offset. It's not right in the middle. And I like all of these colors. This fairy wings or dragonfly one. Not my favorite, but I have a feeling a lot of that's going to start to spread off. So I'm not very worried about it. Um, it's cool. I wish there was a little bit more of the bright gold in the center in there, but I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Because they did kind of, I was thinking of sort of succulents when setting up this color palette. And there is not a lot of bright gold in succulents. But there is a lot of greens and the blues and the, you know, that sort of grayish agave sort of color. So I'll put up a picture of you for of an agave Americana for you. They're so beautiful. I love agaves. Succulents are just, they're really awesome. So, anyways. Okay, so this is pretty neat. Um, our first <coughs> foray into spinning. <laughs> It was fun, and I really did enjoy that a lot, but I missed the tilting, so I don't know. We might play with this a little bit more, maybe with something smaller. There comes the sun now. Can you see here? Let's move it into the sun. You can actually see the colors on there. Pretty. There it goes. <laughs> Let's torch it one more time. Okay, so a quick word about the cells that are coming up in here. Um, I see a lot of the cactus. Several of you ask me when you torch something, you see all these little white cells coming up, these little pinpoint, pinprick white cells. That's if you're using a white base coat. If you don't want white cells coming up, don't use white as your base coat. You can use gold and you'll get gold cells coming up when you torch, which is really cool. I think this is gonna dry pretty neat and very metallic-y, so. Awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and playing with us with our experiments. <laughs> and a huge thank you to Karen Dershin from Waterfall Acrylics. I love watching her. She's just, her stuff is so beautiful. And she's so, she's just so sweet and funny. She's a very nice lady. So thank you, Karen. The good Karen. <laughs> that cracked me up. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys when it's dry. That's pretty cool. One more. Okay.
Okay, so this is a couple of days later. And it's pretty much dry. There's just a little bit in the center that's still a little wet. But this one turned out really cool. I love those rings. That spinning thing is a lot of fun. <laughs> really, really pretty. I love that. I think the spinning, what it did was it gave us that nice curve. We maintained the beautiful curve of the ring pour and all those lines. Really cool stuff. The Arteza Pearl Cactus Green and the Art Alchemy Stormy Ocean. And it's that pretty line of gold and silver in there. I did take my stick and a little bit of 24 karat and just add some small lines in there. <laughs> But I really, really like this part up here with these cells coming up. These are the cactus green cells, pro cactus green. Very cool. Very blingy. There's no extra varnish. I haven't put any additional varnish on this yet. But you see how it does have a beautiful luster and shine. But not overpowering. Very, very pretty stuff. And that's the gloss medium and varnish from Liquitex now known as professional gloss medium so very cool i really like that spinning thing it was really fun so we're probably going to play with that a little bit more not forever though because i do miss tilting it's amazing how much i missed tilting <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today i hope you have a beautiful beautiful day and we'll see you for the next one Bye bye